Hello YouTube, it is the Kingpin of Cinema, here to bring you a Magic the Gathering review. Since it's the holiday season, I figured I'm going to show off my red-green deck. You know, because it's kind of like the Christmas of colors, whatever. Eh, yeah. So anyhow, this is, uh, this is my Eldrazi deck. And, uh, this is all basically cards from the Eldrazi set. Minus, I think... Two or three. No, actually, there's four cards in here that are non Eldrazi. So, uh, gonna start up here with the spells. Oh, and by the way, I went with red green because that is the best option for an Eldrazi deck. Yeah, you could use black, but honestly, black just really didn't have anything uh, that you would need in it for getting the Eldrazi spawn out. So I just said, screw it, I'm not using black. This deck is already like about 80 cards. This is huge, um, but it does work fairly well, especially in multiplayer games. I probably wouldn't recommend one-on-one, -on -one, though you could. In, in a multiplayer game, this, this does work very well. So anyhow, we got uh, Mind of Masses up here. Since you get out so many Eldrazi spawn, this card is pretty important to have. Then you got Growth Spasm, which is really good. You get Not only do you get a, a Eldrazi spawn, but you get a land as well. Uh, Brood Birthing uh, is really good, because if you already have one Eldrazi spawn out, then you get three. Ancient Stirrings can help you get the card you need. Spawning Breath, Direct Damage, and Eldrazi spawn. And two Awakening Zones. Now you might want to uh, possibly run... Uh, three, maybe four of these. I only have two, but it, you know, you get them out early enough. It does add up really well. Uh, the only thing that, like, the biggest weakness of this deck, I'll tell you right now, is the vampire guy. Whenever you get a creature into play, you lose a life. He kills Eldrazi like nothing else, because you just got so many creatures coming in that you're just killing yourself. But uh, moving on, we got the Nest Invader. Two mana, you get two creatures, pretty well. Cruzalic Predator, get additional Eldrazi tokens. And then this guy lets you get a land for free. Well, he costs four, and he's a 2-4, so he's, he's a good defender, and you get a mana. Overgrown Battlements, yeah. Two mana, you get an 0-4 defender, and you tap it, and you get a forest for each defender that's in play. So, that... That's really cool. Maybe you could do without him, but I like having him in here for the Mana Excel. Then we got Brood Warden. Now this guy is pretty darn important. If you just have a ton of uh, Eldrazi spawn, this guy will make them all into 2-2s. Two Honestly, uh, you could like make a deck just around him. And one of these days, I would like to do that if I can get more of them. But he's, he's cool. And then we got Emrakul Hatcher, and he just gives you more. This guy's cool, because whenever he does combat damage, and he has Trample, by the way, too, every damage you deal to a player, you get an Audrazi spawn. Oh, I got two of these guys here, I didn't spread up. Oh, well. And now for the Eldrazis themselves. Uh, this dude, Annihilator 3. And it can be only blocked by three creatures. I have two of him. Hand of Emrakul. Annihilator 1. Uh, he's just... He's okay. You could probably do without him. Eldrazi Conscription. Oh, boy. Uh, you probably would want to run th uh, four of these. And maybe one of these days I will get the... F I, I do have a fourth one, but it's not in here. I probably will put it in. Because... This works for anybody. You put it on one of the big Eldrazi's, now they're even bigger. If you just have generic creatures out, it, you know, it can it can really help swing the game in your favor. Spawn Sire of Umlog. Yeah, this guy cheats. This guy allows you to cheat. No joke. Basically, if you can afford it, 20 mana, and you get to bring in to play all your Eldrazi cards that are in your sideboard. <laughs> So you, so any Eldrazi's you're not using, you this guy lets you bring them into play, and it is just so insanely awesome. All is dust, uh, pretty important for Eldrazi. Uh, Umla Crusher, 
Uh, he's okay. The only bad thing about this guy, I would say, he has to attack every turn. Um, Artisan of Kuzlik. This guy allows some reoccurrence. He's not all that necessary. Now we get into the more important Eldrazi. Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn. Uh, well, this guy basically says it all. 15-15 can't be countered. When you cast Emrakul, take an extra turn after this one. Flying, protection from colored spells, Annihilator 6, and if he goes in the graveyard, he gets shuffled back in. Uh, basically, this is the reason why anyone would want to make an Eldrazi deck. Basically. <laughs> if you think 15 mana is pretty intimidating, it really isn't, because you, hell, all this shit here basically brings in Eldrazi tokens. He is not hard to play. Kuzlik, the Butcher of Truth, uh, Annihilator 4, 12, 12, and when he comes into play, you draw four cards. And same ability, in the graveyard, get shuffled back in. Uh, this guy is actually probably the most important, it that betrays. Basically, your Annihilator, anything that they sacrifice, now you take control of it. If you're playing uh, against a lot of black decks, which I do, anything they're sacrificing, you take control of. So... This guy is insanely good. He can go insanely good in just about any deck. Umlog, the Infinite Gray. Uh, comes into play, destroy target permanent. So, um, what's, what's that? Angel of Despair. He has the Angel of Despair ability. Annihilator 4. He's indestructible, which is really good. And same thing, gets shuffled back into the deck when he dies. Yada, 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 yada. Skittering Invasion. You get 5... One Eldrazi tokens. Uh, if you want to run more of these, uh, go ahead. I only have one. Then for artifacts, we have Dreamstone Hadron. It gives you three colorless mana, and if you tap three, tap it, sacrifice it, you get to draw three cards. So if you're not really getting frustrated about not drawing enough cards or what you need, then you might as well just sack those. Prothotic Prism allows you to draw a card, tap one. And you can tap a mana for any color. Uh, not too useful. I have him in here as an, as insurance. And I also like the fact that I could draw a card. Hadron Matrix. A really funny artifact. Uh, target creature gets plus X plus X. Where X is its ma converted mana cost. So if I take this. And put it on him. He's now a 30-30. <laughs> <laughs> and hell, and if I put this on him, Eldrazi Conscription, now he's a 40-40 Annihilator 8 Trample. <laughs> I love Eldrazi, you guys. I really do. That shit's funny. Uh, then we come into Mana, Eldrazi Temple. Basically, uh, if you're playing on an Eldrazi spell, you can uh, get two mana instead of one. Uh, not completely important. Really getting more of these would be nice. Then you got red, green, and I got a uh, root bound crag, which allows me to tap for either green or, or red. Uh, there are still a couple of cards I do need for this deck, and that is the, um, the temple, where Eldrazi cards cost one less to play. Is it one, or is it two, Eric? One, I believe. Yeah, it's one. And then the uh, Eldrazi Monument, which does a lot. Gives them all flying, plus one, plus one, and I think makes all your creatures indestructible. That card, uh, not completely necessary, but it is insanely good. I mean, especially for all, all your 01 tokens and all your generic guys, which you're going to have, you're going to get out more often than these guys. I do want to suggest honest. one thing. Maybe some more draw cards. Yeah. Spells, because a lot of the times when I've played against your deck, you'll get a lot of your token stuff, but none of your, your all draws. Yeah, that would be the one thing that I do suggest. And I'm going to try and work in here, because like I said, it is like it is about 80 cards. And really more of these guys. I mean, honestly, like I said, you could just build a deck around the Brood Warden. I... If you, have, if you have, like, four Brood Wardens, and you get them all out and play, all your guys are going to be huge. So, that's my, uh, my red, green, Santa Claus Eldrazi deck. 
Hey, can you even imagine if Santa Claus pulled an Eldrazi out of his bag? That would be awesome. <laughs> so, I guess I hope you enjoyed. And, oh, uh, last minute disclaimer. This deck is for casual play. And if you're not into that, well, I guess I'm sorry. So, ha happy holidays. And I hope you enjoyed the review. And if, uh, if you like reviews, check out my page. I'm the Kingpin of Cinema. It is linked on the QB site. I'm in his friends. And if you want to watch some uh, video game reviews and some... Uh, some uh, movie reviews, then uh, check me out. And thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.